You want her to read it out loud for you? It says, Brenda sits on a corner of Park Street and Main Please. Street while David and her, hus her husband is off convincing South Green key South shopkeepers to let him wash windows for money. If he is successful, they'll live large tonight, maybe get a soda or some food. If not, they will bundle themselves in a stack of blankets they cram into the shopping carriage for safety, sleep in shifts behind a building, a church, or in a field. They'll stay there until there's another note left by an owner. I know you are here, now move along. Move along to where? Brenda and David have been living on the streets of Harper for three years now. He has seizures and a problem with alcohol. She is bipolar and has a lot of medical problems. She hears voices. She sees things. Do you know what it's like to see things? Sometimes it's angels, sometimes it's worse. She dreams in blood, you know. Do you know what that's like, do you? Sorry she stepped away from her corner to tell her story. She's tired, her and David both. She says she's exhausted her options and she cries a lot. A nice woman named Amy Malek sees them when they, she volunteers at a Hartford soup kitchen. She listens to their stories and cries too. Brenda says the worst thing about being on the streets beyond mental illness and hunger is vi and violence is invisibility. It's sitting on a corner and watching people look away like they have some disease that they will catch if they talk to them or they mumble under their breath get a job when they pass. She cries when she has to ask for money. It's a drug corner, right? You don't linger unless you're waiting for your bus or your dealer. While David cleans window, Brenda sits on the corner because that's, the police are often here and that's where she feels safe. If the temperature drops, she goes to the emergency room. She knows it's not fair to the hospital, but relying on family is not an option. Meanwhile, it's getting colder. Brenda finishes the story, dabs her eyes with a napkin, and names her carriage back towards her corner. They wrote that in the Hartford, part of it in the Hartford Current. So, so you, are you living kind of one day at a time then? Yeah, we go different day to day. Trying to make money every day just to get us by for food, whatever. We try to be as much as happy as we can, and that's not easy being homeless. You know? And the police chase us out of Bushnell Park, so we can't sit there for too long. And all the other parks are drug parks, we don't go there. We don't do drugs. And my husband quit alcohol, so we don't yeah. want to be around that, so we stay downtown most of the time. It's bad enough being homeless. To be an alcoholic is another trailer, you know? You don't need it. I gave up. I kept falling out and hurting myself and everything under the influence of the alcohol and the drugs. I gave it all up. I told her one day, I said, honey, I quit. She says, oh, I'm not going to believe you. You always say that. I proved it wrong. <laughs> I succeeded. There's a lot of us out here. Yeah. They just, of most of them it. stay hidden. Some by choice, some by not choice, some by drugs. You know, but we're doing the best we can, trying to get off the streets. We just right. don't know where else to go. We butted our head up against all the walls. We're homeless, we have nothing, and we, in Hartford we qualify for no programs. So it doesn't make sense. Every night we go to sleep, half of the nights I don't sleep because I gotta stay awake to watch over her. As long as she's sleeping okay and I don't know what he's gonna bother us, maybe I could take a little nap. Mm -hmm. But even then I gotta wake up and just look, you know, hey, you never know who can come by and throw you with a bottle or a brick, you know? Hurt you while you're sleeping. Cause you do got all kind of people out here. They'll see you sleeping there and they think already you're no good, you know what I mean? And just for some crazy reason, they want to hurt you. It doesn't pay to get upset and be nasty with everybody. These are the people we depend on for help. They can see the pain that we carry, you know? We just left everything in God's hands. We do our best. Good. And that wasn't fair. You caught me smiling, all right? I'm missing <laughs> a tooth, but it doesn't look right. <laughs>